What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we were having some fun with it, playing with Groudon alongside with two off meta Pokemon, Maractus and Rocky Helmet Arcanine. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you guys doing? Make sure you go down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the subscriber feed for my channel. It really does go a long way. We are on the road to 10k subscribers, so I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But as of right now, I've been having a blast playing Pokemon Sword and Shield Online Battles. I don't know why. I usually ride like some lows and highs with this game. Like some some weeks or some months, I'm like, and eh, this game is alright. It's kind of getting boring a little bit. And then other months, it spikes back up, and I'm like, yo, I'm having a lot of fun with that game. And this is where I'm at right now. I'm loving this game, loving using off meta Pokemon, and I'm just loving the format right now but rocking out on this team we have Maractus in that top left corner i might have used this pokemon maybe like once before on the channel but we're here today rocking out with this pokemon we got the life orb on it the chlorophyll to double its speed in the drought spiky shield as its protect which spiky shield is awesome considering it's a protect but if somebody hits you with a physical attacking move it acts kind of as a rocky helmet and it deals damage to the opposing pokemon awesome move love it so much we got grass snap for stab weather ball for when we're in that drought we can do some big damage with that and then we got throat chop to actually take out shadow rider calyrex we can actually one tap them in one shot considering we have the life orb and uh make us do more damage indeedy right next to him with expanded force follow me helping hand and fake out a fairly normal move set for an indeedy but we got that psychic surge and the focus sash as its item middle left is going to be our heart and soul of the team the one and only growl on this pokemon is an absolute beast one of the best restricted mods in this series with drought and white herb as its item so that can actually protect us from intimidate considering intimidate is huge in this meta right now we got protect heat crash precipice blaze for stab and substitute to potentially set up and get this pokemon rolling in the battle Right next to him is going to be the best Trick Room setter in probably this whole game. It's going to be Porygon too. We got Download, Evo Light as his item and ability. Trick Room, Try Attack, Foul Play, and Recover. This Pokemon is great setting up early game, and he's great stalling out late game. So he's just a versatile Pokemon and strong all around. Bottom left corner is going to be another Pokemon who can set Trick Room or counter it up as well. Is going to be Sakataka. Rock and Steel type. Rock Slide, Trick Room, Gyro Ball, and Body Press for his moveset. And then we got the Chapel Berry and Beast Boost ability for its ability and its item. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be Arcanine. And if you guys know me, I absolutely love playing Arcanine on the rank double ladder. I don't know why. He's just an awesome Pokemon all around. Ever since like the beginning series, I always use him and always loved him. This thing has Intimidate on him. Rocky Helmet as his item, which I've been seeing on this rank ladder, and it looks like it's working pretty well. We have Flamethrower over here, Snarl for special attack drop, Willowbus for physical attackers, and Roar to actually make Pokemon swap out. So this Pokemon is very versatile with attack drops, being able to swap out opposing Pokemon, and just being able to do damage with Flamethrower. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this off meta Groudon team. We got a battle for the ages here in battle number one Groudon versus Kyogre. Hopefully, our Groudon comes out on top. This guy has that typical Kyogre team with the Incineroar, the Serena, Regilecki, Kyogre, obviously, and then Tornadus and Rillaboom. Very strong team. I cannot say anything bad about it. It works super, super well, and it's probably one of the best teams in this series right now. It is super strong, and it's great and works in all instances, but hopefully we counteract this with the drought. That's that's our plan. That's our plan. We do have a Maractus, which is really, really well. I definitely got to bring in Groudon for weather control to try to get rocking out with that. I might actually end up leading the Arcanine. Arcanine could be pretty well here, considering I can Snarl. I get to Intimidate right off the rip, and then I can also use Will-O-Wisp for physical attackers. So I am digging that a lot. But I'm trying to think who else I should go into. I could go into Indeedee in turn one. Then I could potentially fake out and kind of go from there. Hmm. Or I could lead a Porygon and go for a Trick Room. Trick Room might be play here. Trick Room might be play here. Give me one sec. Trick Room might be play here. I think Trick Room is going to be play here. Our team's rather slow. But I am going to go rock out with this Trick Room, I'm thinking. Let's go Porygon 2 as the lead. I'm going to actually withdraw him and I'm going to go Indeedee. And then I kind of want... Hmm. Go Groudon and Maractus. Let's run it. I'm with it all day. Or should I go Stakataka? I don't really have time to switch. I probably would rather have the Stakataka here over the Porygon. But I'm with it. Let's run this team. Let's rock it, yo. Let's beat this Kyogre team in battle number one. But guys, let me know for question of the day. What are your top three things to do on your bucket list? Considering for me, I always want to scuba dive like deep or like in like a coral reef or something cool like that. I went to snorkeling before, but I want to go deep uh, scuba diving. I think that'll be very, very cool. Definitely want to skydive. I think skydive is cool. Travel to certain places. Another item on my bucket list is actually get plaques for YouTube. So hopefully we can actually cross some of them off soon. I definitely want to do skydiving very, very soon. 
But let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. But this guy's gonna rock the Tornadas alongside with the, the Grassy Surge uh, Roll Boom. Good thing we're counteracting this thing with the uh, Psychic Surge over here. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Um, I think we just pop a Trick Room right off the rip. I think Trick Room's gonna be the play for us. And maybe with an Expanding Force? I mean, he can't fake me out. He'll go for the follow me, but I just don't see him taking me out at this point. Right? I just don't see him taking me out. So I'm actually gonna go here and then probably just drop an Expanding Force. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Expanding Force coming out and about. I just don't see him taking out my 49 too. Though there's no need for me to go to a four follow me. Then if I have to, I could go for a follow me next turn and just recover up and get some HP. That is my plan. My plan is to wait out this Kyogre, get him in there eventually, and then swap into my Groudon and kind of take control of the battle from there. That's the plans for jeans. That is the plans for jeans. Let's see, but yo, I can't wait to show off this Marak and show. Marak is such a cool Pokemon. Hurricane's gonna pop through here. I swear, if you get a confusion, I'm gonna cry a little bit. Thank the Lord. Knockoff's gonna come out here and he's gonna take off my Evo Light. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. You're gonna take off my Evo Light. Expanding Force flying through here. What you want, fool? What you want? Bang. Some big old damage. Big old damage. Trick Room coming out here, which means Indeedee is going to be faster than both of them. Which means we can take out Tornadus easily. I could drop a Recover if I really want to, but I think Tri-Attack might be our play. I think we're going to drop a Tri-Attack and expand it for us. Pick up an easy double kill, right? I think so. Unless you swap. Unless you swap, you're getting out of here. And that means if he has Kyogre, it's going to have to come out. And then he can't out-swap it, which means we just bring a Drought and kind of roll from there. I'm with it. Yo, I'm so with it. I'm so with it. Even though Maractus would be slowest in the Trick Room, I'm so with just taking control of this battle like that. See how this one goes. Gonna end up protecting. Yo, dude, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because your real boom's going down. Because your real boom's going down. Because we're try attacking into him, and then we're dropping a lovely old expanding force into him. Oh, is he gonna go down here? He might not. He might not. That's kind of scary. <laughs> That's kind of scary. He might take out my Aporion. Let's see. I'm gonna hit this thing up. Come on, take him out. Beautiful. Never mind. Oh, we get a crit. Oh, we get a crit. Oh, we get a crit, baby. We get a lovely little crit there. Loving this game. Loving this game. So we take out the uh, roll boom, no problem. I think, again, we're going to be able to outspeed in this trick room. We should be able to take out Tornados, no problem. Next turn with another expanding force. And I think what I can do here, he is going to bring in him. But he can't fake out. And again, we should be able to outspeed easily. I can just drop a lovely little, lovely little expanding force. Kind of go from there. And I could recover. Could recover, or I could just go for another try attack. Hmm. Jeans, jeans, jeans. What's jeans one do? I don't really think recover's gonna do too, too much here. I'm sure we're, we're out of our Evo light. I'd rather just get some damage off here and let poor guy go down. He's really, like, not as good without his Evo light. His Evo light is what makes him so bulky, what makes him stay in the battle a lot longer. So, without his Evo light, it's kind of useless. So, I'm just trying to, like, get in here, let him do his work. He's gonna end up going for another protect. It fails out here. Fake out. You can't fake out. What are you doing, dog? Don't you know we're in Master Ball Battles? Don't you know we're in Master Ball Battles? Get out my face. Get out my face. Big try attack coming out. And your boy gets a freeze? And your boy gets a freeze? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get this dude out of here. Yo, Tornadus, out my game. Get out my game. We get the big old freeze there, which we love. And yeah, look at Incineroar. He's just sitting there. <laughs> He's just sitting there. Absolutely frozen. I love the animations in this game for freeze. Legit, the Pokemon just stand still. And there it is. We bait out that Kyogre. Beautiful. I don't care if any of these Pokemon go down at this point. I really don't. So, what should I go for? Go for a lovely foul play. I think we are just going to go for a nice little try attack and double down. You know, let's, let's just keep dropping these moves. You give me no reason not to. Like, I mean, there it is. Yo, battle cancel. Sweep with Porygon and Didi? I think so. Did we just sweep a battle with Porygon 2 and Indeedee? I think we just did. That is a first for me. That was awesome. Dominate that battle with two not heavy hitting Pokemon. They're just sitting there for support and they were able to do it. We're going up against a Yubelta team in battle number two. Alongside with Draco Fish. I'm going to say Defiant Thunderous or it could be Volt Absorb. Actually, no, he's not Volt Absorb. The other one has to be that. It's either Prankster or uh, Defiant Thunderous over here. And then he has Celestial and then the power combo for his starters with Real Boom and Incineroar. Okay, um, I could just leave Drought. Drought could be solid here. Nice little Drought here. We do have our White Herb for Intimidates and Intimidates only. Um, I'm going to bring Maractus here. And then I'm going to go Indeedee just in case he wants to uh, start off with Terrain. I can actually swap it early on. Or it could just help out Maractus all around. It really could. 
So I'm gonna end up popping out with these two. Um, final Pokemon. I think I'm gonna bring Arcanine. I could actually lead the Arcanine. I think that could be a great lead. Hmm. What do I wanna do here? I actually don't wanna lead the Arcanine just in case he's intimidated onto that uh, Thunderous and he leads him. But this is gonna be our team. We're gonna lead the Groudon and the uh, the Maractus Cactus. Did I lead the Cactus? Yeah, I did. And I led the Cactus, dude. The power combo coming in hot early on. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Because, yo, I love this Pokemon Maract. He's so cool. Just, like, unexpected. Just, like, off meta to the max. A little cactus, dude. Rocking out with Groudon. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But, yo, that dude's trainer card was sick. A little ghost coming out of it. It looks like the Astral Barrage. But he's gonna end up going Thunders and the Fish of Draco. So, I'm with it all day. All day. All day. Maract is cactus out and about. Groudon's gonna set the drought. You love to see it. I could set up a sub. I could set up a sub early on here. Whatever I want to do. Whatever I want to do here. He could. Hmm. He could be prankster. He could be prankster. So I could do a hard swap here. So I might end up doing. I think I'm gonna hard swap into Indeedy. Just for the sheer fact, just in case he's prankster. We can actually neglect a lot of it, but then he couldn't be. But it still works out in our favor. So I could do that, and I could drop a weather ball if I want to, or I could go for a spiky shoe. I think we're just gonna drop this grass knot, go over onto this uh, Draco fish, and we're gonna swap the string. Because again, I can see him being prankster here, so if he is prankstered, indeed, his psychic train can actually neglect a lot of his moves. But we shall see what he's gonna do. Could have been going for an eerie impulse, he could be doing a lot here. Or he could just be normal, hitting hard. Rain dance can come out here. And yo, prankster, oh, that's a different one. Okay, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Rain dance can come out here. I'm cool with it. We did a hard swap. This thing's rocking rain dance. Really cool thing. He's going for a leech life. Of course you're rocking leech life. Like, Cause why not? Why wouldn't you be rocking le leech life? That's not gonna pop out here. Gonna do some massive amount of damage. A ridiculous amount of damage, which we'd love to see. Which I'd love to see. Um, could just go for a straight up follow me. Or I could swap weather again. Which I might do. He is prankster. He is prankster, so I'm just gonna swap weather again. And then just go back out into Maractus and I could just spiky shield this turn. Spiky shield will kill that thing. He's physical. I'm gonna actually, I'm actually going to stay in. I'm going to drop an expanding force. Just do damage on the thunders, and I am going to spiky shield in order to take out this Draco fish. I dig it. I dig it. Spiky shield popping out here. Go ahead, hit me, hit me, dude. Go ahead, go for a leech life. I dare you. Bye bye, buddy. Bye bye, Draco fish. Later, skater. Get out of my game, dude. Get out played. Get out played all day. He's gonna go for a T-Bolt. I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that T-Bolt. Easy eats for Ndidi and Expanded Force is actually gonna target down to just one, so it's gonna be able to do more damage here. How much damage are we going to do on this thing? Lovely. Lovely. Force a berry out of him. I'm with it all day. So, I think what I could do here. Some of my Maractus, I could. I'm thinking of just swapping here. Getting that drought out and have Maractus get one more big shot off. Max is hitting like a truck. Boom is gonna end with the grassy terrain. With the terrain. <laughs> Surge is popping out here. I think a swap is, is much needed. Or right, could you go for a follow me here? Then just drop a weather ball. I think that's gonna be your play. Let's say we swap. You can just go for a grass guide into Maracus all day. I'll just beat him on the speedboard. There's a fake out coming out from Rillaboom. I'm gonna end up faking out my Indeedee. The so swap probably would have been a play. Thunderbolt's gonna pop out here and he's gonna go after Maractus. Maractus is dead. Okay. Dang, dude. Dang it, man. I totally should have just went after or went into my Groudon. So, I could go into Groudon again here. Which could potentially be the play. Or I could just go Arcanine. Arcanine for Intimidate. I'm with it. And then maybe just swapping the Indeedee for the, uh, Right on. You going from there? Yo, Maractus with the spiky shield. You gotta love it. Timmy popping out here. He's just been playing the weather really, really well. Especially with that dang thingy mobiver over there. That dang thingy mobiver over there. Uh, let's swatch up, swap up the weather with my ground on coming in here. But then he can just glide, man. I don't like this game. I don't like this game one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Um, I could throw on burns.
I said we just follow me out. Well, you know what? I could drop an expanded force. No, it won't do as much. Just follow me out here. And I'm just going to throw a burn over onto this roll boom. That's going to be my play. Roll boom's going to protect me. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Now would have been the swap chance. Follow me's going to pop here. I'm cool with the thunderbolt dropping. Then I'm going for a thunder wave. I'm cool with that. That's fine by me. will is going to miss. Um, I'm trying to think who else does you have in the back. Probably Yvelta. Hmm. I gotta get rid of these Pokemon, like, right now. You could swap. You can go into Snarl. Do I go into Snarl or go for the burn? What am I looking for here? I think the will o -Wisp is definitely the player. Got the burn. There's the withdrawal. Man, I knew I should have Snarled. I knew I should have Snarled. And Incineroar's gonna come out here. Okay. Okay. Better than nothing. I mean, he's really not gonna do much. We're both special attacking, but the fake out is gonna be an option now. Oh, he's gonna pop. He's just playing this one slow. That's his final Pokemon. He ended up not bringing the. Uh... Was it a Yveltal team? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. Well, this can come out here. It doesn't affect Incineroar. We already know that. But the rain stopped. The rain does stop. Um, we're gonna recover a little bit of HP here. And it was a Yveltal team. <laughs> I really want to know that. Uh, we go Helping Hand. Good swap now. Potential fake outs can come out here. Let me just try to do some damage over on this Pokemon. It, you know he's going to fake me out here. Good roar him. I'm just going to double down on Thunders. Because if I can get rid of him, I feel like my, uh, oh, what's called can do some work here. I might need my terrain, so I might swap my what's called. Oh, it's gonna come out here. That's fine. I'm already attacking you. I think gonna come out here, but I feel like uh, we might have to swap our Ndidi here. I think we have to swap our Ndidi here. Because we're gonna need that terrain control later on in the match. Let's go here. Let's swap our Ndidi. Go into Groudon, and then just finish off the Thunders with a Flamethrower. Right? That's gonna be a play. Because if we can finish off the Thunders. That's big for us. Indeed, he's going to swap and then force that terrain, and then we can eventually take off the grassy terrain and kind of roll from there. So I'm with it all day. Good battle. Great battle. Great battle. My favorite play so far has been Spiky Shield and that uh, Draco Fish. <laughs> Rain it. No way. Yo, there's no way you read that, or you just got lucky. I'm telling you, he just got lucky. He just got so lucky. He did not read my ground on coming in there. I'm going to pop out here. This thing should be dead, but he's going to be able to survive now. Just whacking me a burn. Nope. Dark Slayer coming out here. That's going to deal some damage on my growl. Not my little growl. Alright. Um. What do I go for? Go into from here. Grass disappears from the battlefield. Ah. I hate this game. Hate this game. Hate it. Hate it so much. Blades could come out here. I could sub up. Sub up could be the play. I could just start snarling. We know Flamethrower isn't going to be able to take that out. Let's see this. Let's see this, dude. This game, man. I don't know he's going to come out here. doesn't affect me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Snarl coming out here. Another Snarl will be able to take that out. So, we'd love to see it. We got a crit on Incineroar. Yay! <laughs> that's beautiful. If I can set up this sub, that's that's great for us. Sub is setting up. We're subbing up, baby. Subbing up. Lord Blitz is flying through here. In the lane, yo, you crazy. So our sub should be able to just soak that up. Should be easy eats. Shouldn't be able to take him out either. Shook off the taunt. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Drop a nice little blades here. And then roll out into a snarl to take out the thunders. I'm with it all day, yo. This battle is looking pretty solid. Looking pretty good for us. Because like I said, the only way of really taking me out is going to be this, uh... This, what's it called? He's going to go for Thunderbolt. But that's easy eats for you, boy. Especially with the snarl out here. Thunder's gonna go down here. But like I like I was saying, the only way of him really taking me out is going to be this roll room with that terrain. And I'm just gonna swap terrain after this. I'm just gonna swap terrain. And that's exactly why I swapped in DD. Like I did. Of course he sets up a lovely little rain dance. Blades is flying out here. Good potentially KO him. 
Get him out of here, yo. Wrap this battle up. Big double KO there. Loving it, yo. Coming in hot with the ground on the back end. Played pretty well this battle. I feel like it was looking a little shaky for us in the beginning there. But then we kind of started outplaying him. Playing a little bit slower and swapping out our Pokemon at the perfect time. Real Boom's going to come out here as his final little Mon. I think I just swapped Groudon here. Or actually, I can keep Groudon. He's sitting in a sub. He's sitting in a sub all day, so might as well keep him in here. I'm going to try to throw a burn on him, but I can totally see him canceling that battle. I still see Heat Crash doing a decent amount of damage onto him. Let's go for our will o -Wisp. Let's go for the Heat Crash, but I can see a back-to-back -back cancel battle. Am I correct? Show it to me. Show it to me. There's no way he stays in. He does stay in. He's going for the glide, man. Sub says, yo, dude, that's tasty snack there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lick the fingers after that one. Tasty little snack. That's how tasty it was. will o -Wisp comes in here. Yeah, dude, dude, it's over with, dude. It's over with. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He crashed coming in here. Even in the rain, dude. Even in the rain, we still win this battle. We're the best. He's the best to ever do it. There's all that. Um, he's probably going to go for another Grassy Glide. So, with all that going on, I'm just going to swap my uh, swap to my Indeed. Burn shipping away. He's not going to be able to kill me. I'm going to go here. Dude, I don't even need to swap into my Indeed. It's a rain. Like, uh, like, dude. Actually, let's just swap it to the Indeed. Let's just swap it to the Indeed. Oh, no. Indeed Raid. I clicked on my Arcanine. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? I was like, is there Ndidi dead? Uh, let's swap our Ndidi. He's staying in this battle. He's gonna say, hey yo, grass train out my face. We're not dealing with that. I probably could have subbed up again. But then another grass guy probably would have taken that out. But I just don't see him doing a lot of that. I just don't see him taking me out. Considering A, there's no uh, terrain. B, he's burned now. And he's gonna go down. He's going down anyway to this burn. Wood hammer's always oh, wood hammer. He's crazy. This might take me out. Nah, yo, nah, no terrain with the burn. Get him out of here. He dies to burn damage. We end up winning the second battle, going back to back for right now. We're going to hop into our third and final. Look for that perfect record for you guys. All right, guys, haven't did this in a while, so bear with me. I know you guys missed this one, but we're sitting at 2-0, and and we're looking for that perfect record for the Jeans Online Game of Community, baby. Looking for that perfect record for you guys. Haven't did that in a while. Missed it so much. Gotta start doing that more often. I know you guys like it. I know it's pretty funny, but we're going up against a Zassian team in battle number three here. Looking pretty strong, so I don't know if we can pick up that winning record. Or, no, we already actually have the winning record. I'm talking about that perfect record. Here's a Regilecki, the Tapu Fini, the Robum, the Suicune, Zacian as his main guy, and Incineroar. All right, we might have to bring out Maractus Cactus again, you know? We love little Cacti Pokemon. She's rocking out. She's looking lovely. Um, I could go in with Drought to take Weather early on. I'm thinking about doing it. Just doing that. I'm going to see this thing summary real quick. I just want to see this thing's a summary. Hmm. Loving it, loving it. Uh, I think we go Maractus Cactus. I definitely got to bring in Indeedee. Yo, dude, the terrain is just such a big threat with the Robin. It really is. So I'm kind of with all this. I'm with all this. Uh, final Pokemon? Dude, let's go same squad. Let's rock out with the same squad. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Let's do it. Let's get after it. <laughs> um, who is he going to lead? That's the real question. Um, I probably maybe should lead the Indeedee with the... Out on, but if I really do need Indeedee out, I could just protect and hard swap the cacti. I'm just thinking for that Zacian. Give me an Intimidate Pokemon, which could be big. He's gonna end up leading Zacian and uh, Top of Finny. Okay. A little scary. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. But Drought's coming out here, which means Rax Cactus should be fastest on the field. I think it should still outspeed Zacian, even though Zacian could push, push 220 on the speed board. Um, I could just swap the ground on, which I'm totally thinking I'm doing, and just Grass Knot into the uh, Top of Finny. Or I could just double down. Do I double down here? I think I'm thinking of just swapping into my Incineroar. Well, not my Incineroar, my Arcanine. Could be play. I'd actually protect and waste out a turn here. That's probably exactly what I'm gonna do here. Protect, waste out a turn, and just go into a lovely little grass knot. A lovely little grass knot. Just the loveliest grass knots. See what he does. That seems gonna protect. I'm protecting. I'm with that turn all day. All day. Because I can hard swap next turn and drop a weather ball. So, big guys are protecting. Grass not flying through here on the finny. Can we KO with that thing? No, we do not. Because it goes after weight. But still, it's still a solid move. It's still a solid move. That's why I wish we probably had like a better move in general. But I'm with that all day. The Muddy Water is going to fly out here. 
And what the heck is this thing doing? Oh, it missed my cacti? Oh, we love that. We love that. That's cool. Um, what do I want to do here? I could go for blades. I think I might just hard swap here. Let's hard swap the Arcanine. And then just drop a big old weather ball at this point. Hey, I'm digging that. I wonder what Top of Finny's gonna do. Top of Finny might start to swap. But dude, that thing was able to eat up that grass not all day. Gonna end up with all in the uh Zassian. Okay, I'm good with that. Sweet coon's gonna fly through here. Okay. Okay. Groudon's gonna get swapped. We're gonna save the drop for later now. Arcanine's gonna get popping in here. We still have the Mar Maractus Cactus. But I probably should just start, uh, start grass guiding on the people. Or not grass guiding. Grass not on these Pokemon here. Protection come out from Finny. Okay, yo, I'm with that turn all day. I'm with that turn all day. There's that. We have our Arcanine out here, which is huge, considering we can just start snarling up and going from there. We're dropping this Weather Ball here. Doing a little bit of damage. Actually, not bad damage coming out from the Maractus Cactus. Yeah, I love it. Thing sitting there with the leftovers just gonna start teeing off. Uh, snarls have to come out here. Snarls gotta come out here from your boy. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna snarl up here, and I could just start like throw grass knots. I could see Suicune protecting, or I could see, see her setting up a tailwind. So I'm gonna go after Suicune. No, which all the finny? Yes sir. Yes sir. We love it. Snarl is gonna pop out here. I'm cool with that. Uh, most of our moves are special attacking except for throw chop on the Maractus, So. It's really not going to do much. And we have Psychic Terrain, so fake, it, fake Out cannot come out and about. Oh, no, that's uh, Missy Terrain. That's Missy Terrain. My fault. My fault. Grass not going to come out here. Get him out of here, yo. Maractus Cactus coming in hot. Love this Pokemon. Maractus Cactus coming in hot here. Uh, Snarl is going to fly through here. Um, If he does end up going into Zacian, I might just... Hmm, might just... Ooh, I could double protect. If he goes into Zacian, I have, I'm going to double protect here. Me my play, and then we can double down into Zacian. We're gonna go into Top of Finny. Okay, so Top of Finny is going to come out and about. Um, I'm going to read the fake out coming into on, onto Miraculous Cactus, but I am going to Spiky Shield. Hopefully, it does come into there, and then we just get off that uh, that damage. I mean, either fake out or flare blitz could work. There's fake out. There it is, yo. Jeez, with the reads, baby. Don't try to come up on my Maractus Cactus. You're just going to take damage, buddy. You're just going to take damage. It's all coming out and about. Loving it. Lovely. Lovely. Um, hmm. What do I do from here? Good swap, Maractus Cactus. Good swap, Maractus Cactus. What do you play? Muddy Water is really not going to do much here. Like, I kind of want to swap Maractus Cactus, but at the same time, I don't want to. It's an axe drop, yo. Get out of my face. Not my face with the act drop. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I love Maraxxus dance. Look at his arm. She's just. It's on the boogie, man. Oh, yo, I should snarl with my leg. Considering this trigger actually hits that stuff. Um. Do I want to go into a snarl? Hmm. Yo, check out this play. Let's just play the play of the year. That actually won't work. I was gonna say roar him out and enforce his Asian. How many turns is left in drought? Go for another strong here. And I think Marax Cax is gonna go down here. I'm gonna get off another grass knot, but I think Marax Cax goes down here. I have a finish protect. You butter biscuit. Okay, so Marax Cactus is gonna drop it out here. That's fine by me. Grass knot's gonna get blocked. I was running out of time. I was trying to think of something like cool to do. If the speeds worked in our favor, I really want to go for a roar into a weather ball. I could have actually roared onto the incinerator, which probably would have been a nice little play. That would have kept Maractus Cactus alive. There's that. Yo, now I'm going to do that. I think I might do that play. What should I do? I definitely gotta bring out Groudon, get the get the drought rolling again. Helps us out with the thingy. Um, Snarls is out and about on a lot of these Pokemon. Hmm. I think Groudon definitely has to come out here. Just for the sheer fact that uh Sub Ice Blades could just take out uh Incineroar easily. So let's bring out Groudon here. We're gonna go for a blades and we're just gonna hard swap Arcanine into Indeedee. Into lovely little Indeedee. Uh ch -ch -ch -ch. trying to think, trying to think. 
Yeah, I think, I think we're going to need that Intimidate for later in the match. So let's go Indeedee here. And then we can have Fake Out on the board. And let's drop Blade. Let's drop Blades, man. Blades just rocks out so well. Loving Growling. I love to see Mjolnir. Rax is doing some work today. Rax is doing some work. Arcanine is going to get the swap. We swapping him into our lovely Indeedee. Taking Psychic Terrain. And going from there. But I could just start helping Annie here. Or just follow me and keep my Growling alive. For the most part. But more importantly, I want that Arcanine in the back for that Intimidate later. It's just madness going to fly through here. And we avoid the attack. Here. That's lovely. Blades flying out here. They bye-bye Instant War. Doing some big damage on the top of Finny. And I can just... I could read the Protect. And just go for attacking. Because Asian could potentially Protect. But we have Follow Me. I think I just keep following me out. Hmm. Alright, Zassian out here. Uh, could go for the Heat Crash, could go for the Follow Me. I might just, I might just have to get after this Pokemon, just go for straight for Heat Crash, right? Let's say he protects, Top of Finny's not taking me out. Let's just go for this Follow Me. And I say we go for the Heat Crash, Ooh, or we could just go for Blades. I think Blades is play. Let's say he does protect, we're still hitting up on Top of Finny. There's Protect, good thing we go for Blades. Getting the Blades out here, doing some work. Top of Finny's just gonna go for, oh, Protect. Double protecting. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Follow me coming out of here. Turn's just gonna be canceled. Yo, dude, this battle's looking great, yo. Did we do it? Did we get that perfect record? For the jeans online game like a moon at baby. We doing it. We doing it for you guys. Maractus Cactus Squad for the perfect record. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? We'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Follow me's gonna pop again. Um, I'm just gonna go for blades, man. <laughs> Actually, no. We taking out Zassian. Blades might not take out Zacian, so I'm going to just go heavy into this uh, Zacian. If we do hit him, it's game over because we have the drought. It's out and about. We're going to be able to do some big damage. He actually outspeeds me, but it's good. But still, that's going after, obviously, the Ndidi. We still have our Intimidate in the back end. Ndidi might go down to this. Forgot. We have Sash, baby! <laughs> Sash is looking good. Muddy Water flying through that. That's going to take out Ndidi, but Groudon should be able to eat it up easily. I swear, if he gets an Act Drop and he misses his Heat Crash... I'm canceling the battle, and we're not getting a perfect record. I'm just letting you guys know that now. Love this game. Told you. Been having fun with this game as of recently. Heat Crash can come out here. It's still not going to take out Zassian because of the weight. But, yeah, I'm with that all day. Because you know why? Because you know why. Maybe we can just bring out our Intimidate Pokemon. We have Rocky Helmet in the back end. If he wants to hit up on me, he is going to take Rocky Helmet damage. But I think we just drop a Blades here. And we double down into Zassian. Or no, I, I, actually, yeah, just in case he goes for like a Behemoth Blade onto my uh, Groudon. I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower over on him. And then just go fight and sh 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 I could protect. What do I think he's going to do? He's got targeted into my Groudon, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to protect my Groudon. Destiny's going to protect. Okay, I'm going to protect here as well. Actually, coming close. Actually, coming close. Did I call a perfect record too early? I might have. <laughs> I might have. Uh, Flamethrower comes out here. We get a block. We got to play. We got to play a little smarter. here. What do you water find? There? It misses one of my Pokemon. Oh no, we blocked it. And Arcanine, that's easy eats for you, baby. I think he's still minus on the attack. Point. I'm not really worried about damage. I swear. Don't need to get an axe drop on me. Okay. Now I think. Now I think we just drop blades. I think we just do what we want to. Let's go flamethrower. Drop the heavy blades. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Behemoth blades gonna fly through it. This might take out my Groudon. He just up Groudon. He's even now. He's not plus one. Love you, yo. That's GG's. That's GG's all day. Flame throw flies through here. Connects. We say yeah. Dashing. Get out of my game. We're not dealing with you. You're very strong. But you're no match for Maractus Cactus Squad. Blades are going to come out here. Which is lovely. Actually, Muddy Water's going to come out here first. Of course. And I can just start snarling up on this thing. That's easy eats. I think we special attack dropped this thing earlier today. And we have the drought out and about. Blades coming out here. Can Blades finish this off? Might be able to. 1 HP. <laughs> this thing's on like 1 or 2 HP. Grabbing itself a free focus edge. But hey, we can just snarl and outspeed. And Snarl's just going to take that out easily. Snarl can finish that off. 
We love it, yo. Great place by us today. Yo, we got to show off Maractus with the Spiky Shield. We got to kill with Spiky Shield. We show off the power of Grass Knot, how much damage it can actually do. And we're just rocking out all around with these, uh, with this squad, yo. 3-0, perfect record for you guys. Uh, Blade's probably going to be your play. Actually, accuracy's really low on that. I'd like to go for a higher accuracy move here. Just so we don't miss and really mess up the battle. But battle's canceled. Perfect record for you guys. Let's get it. What a great set of battles for today's video. Using an off-meta Groudon team with Maractus, Cactus, and Arcanine over here. But more importantly, we grabbed ourselves a perfect record with that. Played all three battles super, super well. Dominated them all and went 3-0. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.